Connecticut Arts Festival has been bringing us some great events to check out. And as it continues through the summer, this morning we are getting a preview of one of their great events, Taiwan Day. And joining me is Robert Billington from the Blackstone Valley Tourism Council. To tell me Good more morning. about it. Good morning. morning. Welcome well, to the Roadshow. Thank you. Now, Taiwan Day, explain this to Taiwan me. Taiwan Day, it's actually a day where the Taiwanese uh, get to celebrate their culture in concert with the, uh, the Chinese culture. Of course, it's all Chinese culture. So we, we have the Chinese Dragon Boat Races and the Taiwan Day Festival all takes place on this Saturday, August 29th. Uh, free event. It's part of the Arts Festival mm -hmm. uh, in Pawtucket. Great part of it, we think. And um, generally draws thousands of people to come down and experience a Chinese culture, entertainment, watch some great dragon boat racing, which is very unique here in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. uh, we have six boats that race all day long. No, I have to ask why why Taiwan Day in Pawtucket? I, when I think Pawtucket, Taiwan doesn't come into mind. So why? Of what, what, what brought Taiwan Day to Pawtucket? Okay. Well, actually, the the center of the Chinese community is in Pawtucket. Mm -hmm. The uh, all centers around the Chinese Christian Church. And there's 15,000 Chinese Americans in Rhode Island, which are uh, Chinese from mainland China and Taiwan. Um, so 10 years ago, we, we actually brought both groups together to celebrate around this, this idea of dra racing dragon boats. And really the idea of racing dragon boats went back to how can we look at our waterfront and develop it. And the idea was we have to bring activity. And we have two Chinese uh, business people in the community that said, we'll bring some Hong Kong dragon boats in. We'll get started. That morphed into um, a gift uh, from from the Taiwanese government of six of six uh, larger 54-foot uh, boat, 54 feet long dragon boats that we race now every every That's year. That's incredible! It's from the Chinese government. Oh yeah, they were gifts from Taiwan. That's great. Yeah. Now uh, there are some events that people can partake in. Tell me about. Them. Well, during that day, mm -hmm. um, what we're doing is we have entertainment all day long. It begins at 10 o'clock, ends about 5 o'clock. It's dancing, the Chinese yo-yos, um, great music all day. People can actually get out and try a dragon boat and see what it feels like. Um, it's, a, it's a great sport to watch because it's a, only a thousand foot sprint on the water. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right there watching it. This year we have, uh, working with Gloria Jama, so we have the, uh, we're raising money for breast cancer That's awareness. Um, we have this new event called the, uh, the, the Gentle Giant, which actually debuted at the Hong Kong Dragon Boat Races in Boston. Now it's going to be here in Rhode Island. Okay. And it's a kind of a, 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 a stair type thing where you run up this uh, set of stairs, slide down the slide, and you do it for time and win prizes, and that's going to be something new that we're introducing this year. Excellent. Now, the cost of this event? It's free. There we go. It's free. Can't go wrong with that. Robert, thank you so much thank for joining you, us. Sean. Thank you. Hey, listen, if you want more information on Taiwan Day and everything that's going on in Pawtucket, it seems like there's got a whole bunch of stuff going yeah. on, you can always head over to our website. It's foxprovidence.com. Thanks, Robert. Thank you.